लॉन्ग लॉन्ग अगो अल्लाह क्रिएटेड द ब्यूटिफुल यूनिवर्स फुल ऑफ गलेक्सीज प्लैनट द मून एंड स्टार्स ऑल मूविंग इन हारमनी ऑल ग्लोरीफाइंग एंड प्रेजिंग हिम वेन अल्लाह डिसाइडेड टू क्रिएट अ ह्यूमन बींग ही कलेक्टेड एवरी काइंड ऑफ सॉयल एंड मेक्स इट लाइक अ पोटर्स क्ले मोल्डिंग इट इन टू द शेप ऑफ अ मैन अल्लाह ब्रीथ हि स्पिरिट इन टू इट In this way he gave life to the first man the father of all of us Allah name him Adam Today people may all be of different colors shape and sizes speaking different languages and living in different places but they all have the same ancestor the first man Adam Allah made him the first prophet to guide people Allah bestowed many gifts upon Adam. He gave him the gift of sight so that he might marvel at the creation of Allah and the sense of hearing, smell, taste and touch to help him understand the universe around him. Apart from all these blessings, Allah gave him the intelligence to be able to tell what was right and what was wrong. and made him capable of doing good works with this allah gave him knowledge and wisdom and put him above the angels allah also created the first woman hawa eve as a helper and loving companion of adam he told the couple to live in the garden of paradise but warned them not to approach a particular tree Both of them began living there in perfect peace and happiness with drizzling beauty all around them but satan was jealous of them seeing the honor they received from allah so one day he came to adam and his wife and whispered to them tempting them to approach the forbidden tree he told them that it was the tree of eternal life and that if they ate from it they would never grow old nor would they ever die satan made them believe that he was giving them very friendly advice so they ate from the tree and became wrongdoers but no sooner had they done so than they realized their fault and immediately turned towards allah to say how sorry they are allah forgave them both but told them that since they had defied his orders they would have to leave the gardens of paradise and go down to earth there adam and hawa found themselves all alone for no one else was living on the earth at that time allah told them that from time to time his messengers and prophets would be coming to the earth to guide people to the true path those who follow his directions and lived a good life would have no fear on the judgment day and would be admitted to paradise but those who disbelieved and rejected allah's sign would be taken to task and thrown into the fire of hell the story of the prophet adam teaches us that we have all been created by allah and that therefore we all are equal we should then respect each and every human being and never look down on others or insult people after all we are all the children of one forefather the prophet adam alayhi salam